You got to be pure in heart to see God. Amen. All Christians have to have a pure heart to see God. I'm not saying that you have to have angelic, conclusionary, spiritual state. I'm saying that you have to have a pure heart that strives to be like Jesus in all of these things. This purity of heart implies a change in your heart. I don't believe in this mind salvation. Well, yeah, I got saved last year. <sighs> yeah, I got saved. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Yeah, blankety, blank, blank, blank. Real salvation changes you. You're not like you were the day before. It implies the faculties of our soul to be purified. It implies the purity of the affections. This goes back to what you're careful of, what you view, what you listen to. Let me tell you something, folks. If you've got psychologists a hundred years ago playing different forms of music to house plants to see how they actually will react, and they conclude almost to the psychologists that music has an effect on that how that plant grows, if it all grows, Unborn baby. I am telling you exactly right. Unborn children. I am telling you this evening, we need to be careful. We need to do that which edifies the spirit. 